The new president of the Ontario Medical Association is learning about the service gaps for addictions recovery in Thunder Bay. Dr. Rose Zacharias was here in the city for the OMA's annual general meeting before she stopped to visit a local resident who's taken it upon herself to help people detox. Lee Noonan reports. Brenda Letourneau regularly opens her home to people recovering from addiction. She says when someone asks for help, they need it immediately and can't just wait for a detox bed to open up. Dr. Rose Zacharias says she wanted to meet Letourneau because she was inspired by her generosity. It's amazing what she's doing, but we need to come alongside Brenda, even on a provincial level, and that's what we intend to do. Uh, Ontario's doctors are committed to bringing that message forward here in Northern Ontario and beyond. With three kids living at home, Letourneau doesn't have much space, but when she can't help someone find a place in a formal facility, she offers up her couch, whether for a few hours or a few weeks. She's in recovery herself and says it's healing for her and her family to help others and to keep people from falling through the gaps in a system that she says saved her life. We just see a need. I mean, I learned it from other people. I've watched other people do that. My own 12-step sponsor had done that for somebody because that's what they did before there was detoxes. They opened, like if you think of Bill W and AA, that's what they did, right? They opened their own homes. During the visit, they spoke about Letourneau's efforts, what they each see happening in the community, as well as the OMA's proposed five-point plan for healthcare in Ontario which includes recommendations for home care, pandemic preparedness, and northern health care, as well as mental health and addictions. So what we know for mental health work is it needs to be done in teams. We can talk about doctor and nurses shortages, but we also need the personal support workers and uh, the pharmacists and all the health care providers to be digitally connected and working in a coordinated fashion. For her part, Letourneau says it's really important that the OMA is looking into addictions care, but she's waiting to see action. You know, there's a lot of different agencies doing different things, but to come together as one um, around the person with the addiction, that's the key right there. And that no one, you know, I shouldn't have to open up my home to catch those people falling through. We have money the province gives for that, so that needs to stop. That's what I want to see happen. With the provincial election underway, Letourneau and Zacharias both hope that the parties are listening and that whoever forms government will implement these recommendations. Lee Noonan, TVT News.